Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm tackling a bunch of tiny projects that I've had throughout the house. And I also wanted to do a little bit of spring decorating. So be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also, huge thank you to O Cedar for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and jump into it. As I was getting started, I noticed that I had these kitchen towels sitting in my dryer for like two days. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna finally just put them away, <laughs> fold them up and put them away. So that's what I'm doing here. All right, so now that that's out of the way, we can move into the bathroom. And I don't know about you guys, but I have to have a clean space before I organize. And I'm gonna be spending the majority of the time on the floor, so I went ahead and cleaned the floors. And I'm using my Ocedar Rinse Clean Mop System. And you guys, this thing is a game changer. You may be familiar with Ocedar by now, but this new system has a two tank system, which allows you to have the clean water in one tank, and then the dirty water gets distributed into the separate, um, the black part of the tank. So this allows you to have clean water the entire time that you're cleaning your floors. You can actually use just water if you wanted to because it does come with a microfiber removable mop head and that alone will remove 99% of bacteria with just water. So in order to release the fresh water, all you have to do is pull this little lever right here and you just leave it up and it automatically continues to fill it with fresh water as you're cleaning. I really feel like I thought of everything for the system from the foot pedal activated ringer. That way your hands can stay nice and dry. Also, when you're not using the mop, you can actually rest it up against the handle, which I feel like it's a really smart addition to the whole design. So yeah, if you guys are interested in learning more about this rinse clean mop system, you can go to ocedar.com. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more. Need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. Now moving into the bedroom, I went ahead and cleaned the floors in there as well. And as you guys can see, our bedroom is finally coming together. Our headboard arrived and I am obsessed with it. It is made out of boucle, which I've also been obsessed with that material. I feel like it's just very cozy. Our nightstands should arrive any day now. I ordered them almost a year ago. Can't wait to show you guys like the finish the finished room. It's going to look so good. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and finished mopping the bedroom and I turned the fan on to kind of let the floors dry. Once the floors were fully dried, I went ahead and switched out some pillows. I had these large pillows and I feel like you couldn't really see the headboard with those. And I've been keeping all of my like other decorative pillows in our linen closet. So I kind of go in there and shop it. I decided on these pillows. These are like a blush with like a yellow color and I feel like it just adds a little pop of color, but it still stays really neutral. So the bathroom floors were finally dry by this point. I went ahead and put all of the bathroom mats down. And the first place I want to tackle is under my sink. Since the day we moved in, I literally just started throwing things in there. Um, yeah, I just turned into this huge mess. But I actually don't have that many things. Like you guys will see once I organize everything, I thought I was going to have to go out and buy more organizers, but it turns out that I had the perfect amount. So I went ahead and just completely emptied it so that I could wipe it down and disinfect it. I need you more. Please you hear more than I would like to admit. Let's forget. Lately, I've been a huge fan of see-through organizers, even though I feel like it doesn't give you like the cleanest look. I've learned over the years that if I don't see a product or if I can't see what's inside of an organizer, then I forget it's there and it goes to waste. And then I just end up accumulating stuff because I buy multiples of it. So this has just been like the best system for me. I love these little uh, caddies that you guys see with the gold handle. That's where I put all of my hair products and I divided it by styling products and treatments. So that way when I'm getting ready to do my hair Instead of having to pull out each product individually, I can pull out the entire caddy. Yeah. I, I also still love this little organizer that is for headbands and ponytails. And that one, I can just stack it on top of something. So that way, when I'm getting ready to like put my hair up, I can just reach down and I have easy access to it. Now for my Q-tips, cotton pads, and like facial pads, I found this really cute organizer. It's made out of glass and gold, and I think it looks really pretty on the vanity. Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over. 
I also put away all of my fall and winter fragrances and kept out all of my spring and summer perfumes. I do have a little spot off to the side of my sink where I can like do my makeup. And this is all of my makeup, you guys. I have truly minimalized all of my makeup to things that I absolutely love. And it's been so much easier to get ready. I really enjoy every single product that I use because I've only been buying things that I absolutely love. And I try to finish one product before buying something new. So I've been dying to decant all of my spices. If you guys have watched any of my past organization videos, this has been like the one project that I've talked about, but I just never got to because it's a lot of work. I had to clean all of the containers. I had to wash them by hand, wait for them to dry. So I actually did this the day before. I just filled up a couple bowls with hot water and soap and just gave them a bath. <laughs> and then I had to wait overnight for them to dry because I didn't want to put them in a the dishwasher. I didn't want to risk breaking any of them or like having the plastic come out. So I just wash them all by hand and this is like the most tedious job ever So if you are planning on doing this project yourself, definitely give yourself at least two days I also had some empty containers from the pantry that I went ahead and washed so that I could refill them the following day So now for the fun part, all of the containers are fully dry. It's the next day. I went ahead and decanted every single one of them and I didn't want to forget what was what. So I kind of did it in little groups of four and five. And then I also found these labels, which I could have made myself, but I needed a lot of them. So I decided to just order them off of Etsy. It was like 12 bucks and you get a ton of labels. I think there was only one condiment that I didn't have a label for. And in order for the labels to line up as perfectly as possible, I went ahead and added some painter's tape to guide me. And this made a huge difference. So you guys will notice I don't place the label corners all the way down because after I take the tape off, I make sure that they're perfectly centered. And if not, I'm able to easily peel it off and reapply it. And then I just smooth it out at the very end. But I'm obsessed with how these turned out, you guys. I'm so glad I went with the black labels. I almost did white, but I feel like the black just makes that bronze cap really pop. So here's my spice store. You guys have seen this in previous videos. I went ahead and just cleaned it off. This is a little like organizer that you insert into the drawer. And I decided to color coordinate my spices. <laughs> I know it's a little insane, but I think it looks so pretty. And I also, you guys will notice a lot of the containers are completely empty. And that's because I actually ended up throwing a ton of spices away. There is a few studies that recently came out that there's some brands that um, contain really toxic chemicals in them. So I found all of the ones from those brands and threw them out. And I have to go out and repurchase those spices. So that's why they're empty. So next I went ahead and cleaned off the table and just wiped off all the spices. I made a huge mess, like way bigger than I expected. Then I went ahead and finally put those dish towels away. I keep those dish towels uh, right next to the sink. That way I have easy access when I'm doing dishes or when I need to like clean. And I'm able to fit the majority of the towels and any overflow I will actually store in the laundry room. I have these little baskets. Mm. I also refilled the containers from the night before. And if you guys have not watched my pantry organization video, you definitely should. I'm obsessed with how the pantry turned out as well. That was another really fun project. I will link that video for you guys below. I wasn't really planning on like cleaning the kitchen, but I was gonna be able to see the kitchen from the living room. So I was like, no, I have to clean the kitchen. So I went ahead and just wiped down the counters, put everything away. There wasn't really like much to do in here, honestly, just the mess that I recently made and then what I had for lunch. And then of course I had to do the floors. I don't feel like a space is clean if the floors are not clean.
And this was actually the very last spot that I had to mop. So I went ahead and emptied the dirty water. And this is what I wanted to show you guys, the coolest part about this tank. So you lift that blue part that I filled up with the clean water. And then what's left in the black tank is all of the dirty water. And what's great about this is that when you fill up the whole tank, you can just move around the whole house without having to like switch out the water. Now for the living room, we still have tons of furniture that hasn't arrived yet that should be arriving in the next few months. Like we're getting a console table that's gonna go right there where that black and white chair is. But for now, I wanted to put something there because it just felt so bare. And I've been obsessed with olive trees. I found this one that looked so real and natural. I love the way that it's kind of like curved. And I also found this ginormous pot to put it in. I wanted to raise it a little bit, so I just used like styrofoam and a bunch of other stuff. But I do have to go in and fill the rest of it with like sand or something because it's not really stable. But I'm obsessed with how it came out. It looks so good. And the last thing that was left to do is add a few touches of spring. I wanted to incorporate some blush because you guys know it's my favorite color to decorate for the springtime. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, thank you to O Cedar for sponsoring this video and don't forget to check them out at ocedar.com. And until next time, bye.